Hello, everyone. I am Zheng, a digital reporter at the Xinhua News Agency and the world's first digital taken off. This is the Mars branch of Xinhua News Agency, which is also the Mars test station of the State Key Laboratory. Media Convergence Production Technology and Systems. Today, we are embarking on a journey to Mars with the help of the state-of-the-art computer graphics technology, which is also a journey of the future. This is the Utopia Planitia where the Tianwen-1 landed. It is the largest plane on Mars with a diameter of 3,200 kilometers. Such a huge digital world is constructed based on the intelligent processing flow. With the help of satellite remote sensing technology, we can not only obtain the images of the Martian surface, but also extract the elevation data of the Martian terrain. We input the images and data into software and recreate the real Martian surface. There are countless craters, hills, and crevasses here. Many of them are the geographical wonders in the solar system. The Valles Marineris is the largest canyon in the solar system, stretching 4,500 kilometers long. The canyon was created by the universe's great power 2 billion years ago. In this journey, we'd love you to experience the vivid Martian environment with mountains, deep valleys presented in details and there are authentic physical motions as well. Meanwhile, it is also a rich and active world. In the past, it took dozens of hours to generate this kind of one-second video. Now, it can be generated quickly by applying the real-time rendering technology. Therefore, we can interact with this wonderful world in real time, and even change it at any time. This virtual but real digital world can become part of our lives. Cloud computing is the creator. AI and algorithm set the logic and give feedback on every user's behavior. The 5G transmission is a bridge connecting users with the digital world. Digital technology can enable us to move on Mars virtually, create the future world, turn what we know on its head and present a new universe.